Hi, this is Helen with the Better Half Blog. Thank you for joining me today. I am going to share with you some different ways that I am trying out my Create Time Functional Planning Method. A little bit of a change of plans on how I'm using these journals. In my last video, I did introduce to you simple planning and using this moleskin pocket size to do some of my weekend chores as well as weekend planning, just because I don't wanna carry this huge Kobanichi cousin around the house when I am just simply cleaning and doing certain errands and things throughout my weekend. So here I have my moleskin pocket size as well as my Hobonichi Weeks which you know, this is like my little smartphone on paper, I call it, as well as a couple of pens and my handy dandy Zig clean color dots. Okay, so in my planner, the way I've changed some things around here, you've seen in the past that I've been using my Hobonichi Cousin in the Avec version, which is the half year on two booklets. Now, my Hobonichi Cousin, the regular version, which is going throughout the whole year, which is definitely thicker, this one, I used it mainly for my memory keep type of journaling. The reason why I decided to switch into here and just dismiss Hobonichi Cousin Avec completely for now, I might change that later, but Again, I'm looking for that most functional way of planning. So I'm trying different things throughout this year. And one of the things that I decided to do was to change into this journal and just have this journal be my catch all catch all, meaning it'll be my memory keep as well as my functional planning journal in here. So how this works is very simple. The first thing I do is I go into my Hobonichi Weeks. Now this thing follows me throughout the day in case I have new things that come up or new schedules, things like that. So in my Hobonichi Weeks, anytime I have any new appointments or schedules, like for example, I just had a parent teacher conference scheduled this morning for this Thursday. And I would just jot it down here because this, remember, is following me around the house. And so I wrote that down and these are all the things that are due on a certain day or schedules that I have going on throughout the month. Now this accumulates and accumulates throughout the month. And so I don't mind it filling up because I'm also using this to now update my notion in real time, my future log, which I'm still needing to film that notion video for you to share with you how I'm using my notion as my future log in there. And then I go into my weekly section where I have the list of things that I need to get done throughout the week. So I have decided I'm going to use a running list for work, running list for home, and then I, as well as whatever I see in my monthly calendar view that has to be done on a specific day, I am color coding it this purple and I'm keeping it very simple. I have the purple for things that I have to do on that specific day or outside of the house. And my yellows are my highlight of the day. So these are what's happening in my weeks here. And from the weeks, I then go into my actual planning and on my daily section here. In my dailies, this is what it looks like. It is the continuation of my create time functional planning method, which has this schedule and things that I have to do outside of the house, as well as my highlight of the day, as well as that whole section blocked off for my highlight. To make my highlight, which is sometimes very overwhelming because it's a bigger project, to then put down actionable tasks in order that I need to work it, and then doing it and then crossing it off as I go. Then I have the next section as my tasks. Now these tasks are coming straight from here. The regular dots are then my tasks and I carry them over to here, this section where it says task. 
as well as any other work or home related tests that are not due on a specific day, but they're my running list. So I, I will pick one or two tests off the running list if I have some room to do some of those tests throughout the day. Then I have the next section is my habits and goals. Remember, I reassess my habits and goals. And so things have changed a little bit since the beginning of the year and made it more effective towards my goals of 2021 and then my ultimate goals and dreams and vision of how I see my life pan out. So that's what's going on here. And then the last section, I always section off for reflection. Remember, reflection is very crucial in any planning because it is a time to close out your day as well as to document and record what were your wins of the day, what were your fails, and how can you do things better the next day, and always giving it a nice challenge. And this also now becomes my reference when I go back to my weeks to then... Um, do my journaling journaling so these are my memory keep journaling and let's just flip through them real quick second week of the hobonichi cousin this year third week and then fourth week i have my fifth week and then last week and then now this week so because i've decided to use this one journal for both memory keep as well as my functional planning in one planner, what's amazing is that as soon as I close out the day, it's easy for me to just go and fill in that day rather than making this a weekend project. Sometimes it becomes a chore, right? Sometimes journaling becomes a chore and I don't want my journaling time to become a chore. I want it to be a time for me to reflect on the days and the week and also take a look at, you know, the things that happened this week and enjoy journaling instead of making it into another task that I, I absolutely don't need in my day or my week. So that's what's going on here in the weekly section, as well as my monthly section. You have seen this in the past, my video from last week that I've been using this kind of like my food diary over here of what I'm cooking because I, I decided to cook a lot last year, the year before, and this year. I am actually trying to make it fun, journaling what I cooked, what we ate, as well as if we did a takeout, for instance, I also write down the restaurant and what we ate. And so that way, when I run out of ideas of what to cook on a given day or a week, as I meal plan, I am going to go back to some of these months and look at, oh, that's what we ate. I remember that recipe. And if the recipes are so great, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to use my dailies because my dailies used to be just journaling time and memory keep, remember. And so look at these empty pages. Now, this drives me nuts. So one of the things that I benefit from moving into this planner as a whole is that I am not going to have these empty spaces because on the week I'm going to have my functional planning going on like this. And then on the weekends, because I'm not doing functional planning, remember I'm using this daily pocket size to do my weekend chores and things like this. So what I'm doing is I'm doing my weekend chores and planning into this daily section here and then throughout the week what i've tried to do and it seems to be working just great is to just jot down some tasks that come throughout the day that i do not want to clutter and overwhelm myself with as i plan and finish out the day i don't want to overwhelm myself with adding new tasks in the day Rather, I'm putting it into this pocket size, like I did that yesterday, and I'm doing that again today. And it's really helping me to keep focus on the things that I've committed to do, I plan to do on today, rather than to have this overwhelm, fear, and procrastination building up just because now I feel like, oh my gosh, I got 10 things done and now I still have 10 more things to do. I don't feel 
motivated that way. I don't feel productive that way. So instead, I'm keeping it in a whole different journal and keeping a simple running list of what I can get done today once I finish my planned, committed plans here on my daily. And on the weekends, because I am not using this as my create time functional planning, because I really don't need to be working or doing any of these serious type of tasks or work here on the weekends, I'm using this pocket size, some of those errands, chores, things like that in here. And that has worked wonderfully this weekend. So that is what I'm using. And so on the daily section, it's absolutely filled up. Every day is going to be filled up. I'm gonna add some photos in here on the weekends. And I look forward to that. So like my weekend is gonna have photos and just memory keep type of journaling. Maybe I'm gonna read an article or a book and have that documented here for memory keep. And it's also interesting for me to go back and look at my hard work throughout the week. And so I think this journal is gonna do just fine the way I have decided to use it going forward. And now let me share with you what I'm doing with my time blocking. Because if you remember my create time functional planning method, what I used to do is I used to use my weekly section as my time blocking planner. And my weekly obviously are going to be filled up with my memory keep. Now, how am I going to time box my day, my week? Because for me, what's really helped me is this time blocking matter. And so I've decided to try out Google Calendar and let me share with you on a different screen now to Google Calendar and how easy it is to use it and what I've benefited from trying out my Google Calendar as my time boxing planner. Okay, so this is my Google Calendar. Now I have the whole week kind of panned out. I have all my time boxing in different colors to show me the different types of things that I'm doing throughout the day, throughout the week. Now the reds you see are my YouTube time and the black color time boxing is either my goals and habits or my tests. And the greens are my work time and the yellows are my minimalism time. And then I have the purples you see throughout, a lot of purples, those are all my transit time. So I'm either driving a child or we're going to activities, we're going to school, picking up from school, pink color they are my cooking time my eating time things like that so I have kind of color boxed things that are really relevant to what you've seen in the past in my create time functional planning method using the weeklies as my time boxing type of planning there now on my dailies of my Hobonichi cousin this is where you're gonna see the actual details of what tests what work tests as well as what am I cooking or what activities are going on today. So that is how I'm using the Google Calendar and I'm really doing a trial run this week to see if this works for me. Now, so far, it's just been amazing. I love using a mixture of the digital as well as my Hobonichi cousin and some of my other journals here that you've seen in my other videos. The thing, that I love the most about Google Calendar so far is the fact that I could wake up in the morning and first thing check on my phone without even flipping open my screen to check my day and how are my hours going to play out in a day. Especially in the morning because things are hectic, the morning hours just seem to really fly by. Having that phone device to give me that sense of uh, control of how I'm using my time and if I'm using it correctly as I planned out for the week or the day, that is a benefit to this type of resource. Now, in the past, when I did use my Hobonichi Cousin in the weekly section for my time boxing, what I would have to do is go back to my planner throughout the morning when it's busy, hours. I have four children running around looking for things and getting ready for school as well as my husband getting ready for work and things like this. And I'm also feeding people breakfast. I'm 
cooking lunch, I'm packing lunch, and sure, I'm trying to get myself put together to face the day as well. So using the devices to just simply look at my time boxing is just an amazing experience. As always, I want to thank you for watching. And if you have any questions about anything that I've talked about today in this video, please comment down below. And also let me know if you want to see more in depth of the Google Calendar and how I'm using it and how you can use it for multiple different purposes if you see that it will benefit you because there are so many different things that you can do on Google Calendar as well if you want to get more done, have more productivity, as well as motivation throughout your day to gain that energy back and get things done. Thank you, and until next time, bye.